Right, I've got a lot of sanding to do. <laughs> I won't film it all, but basically, I glassed the underside of the deck in. And once again, I never got to finish it with gel coat, so I've now got to sand the glass, which is something I didn't want to do. If I had to put a layer of gel coat on there, that would have acted like a filler, and I could have sanded that. But I didn't, because I ran out of time. It took me a lot longer than anticipated to get it all up. And uh, yeah, so I've got the whole of the underside of the deck needs sanding again <laughs> so it's hours of sanding so i'm not showing it all but i've basically just made a little start on it so i've finished my lot this for the day and i thought well i'm gonna do a little bit of sanding so basically i mean this is a real heavy cloth it's seriously thick it's got csm backed with a weave on the other side and uh, what i really should have done when i put it up and it was still wet is put a bit of csm over the top to help finish it off so that it weren't so rough looking uh, but again didn't have time for that it was an absolute nightmare just getting that up there <laughs> um, had i have let it tack off and then been able to gel coat it a roller and some gel coat on it like i say i could have sanded that that would have actually got a filler would have lost half of these lines that are in it but again i ran out of time didn't have time to do that so now i've got loads of sanding to do then i've got to paint it all or filler it or whatever then I've got to sand it again, yeah, it just goes on forever, so I'm not going to film it all, but like I say, I was thinking, whilst I'm here, I'm just going to do a wee bit of sanding each time I come down and do one bit, I'm just going to do a little bit more sanding up there, um, you know, tackle it a little bit at a time, because it's quite a lot to do, and it's quite monotonous, and you know, drives you nuts just thinking about it, so I'm not going to film it all. But that's what I've got to do. So I'm going to get on with these on camera. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of sanding up here. Um, off camera. And I'll probably just show you my progress as I go. But yeah. I can't film me sanding the ceiling down again. Ceiling? <laughs> Underside of the deck. Because um, yeah. It's, I've got hours of sanding to do. And um, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no one going to want to watch I'm just going to try and finish this section along here. I've done a little bit up here. I'm going to try and concentrate on a small area at a time and break it down into bite-sized pieces. Right, I've sanded this down from there down to the front there. So what I'm going to do now is acetone that up and just chuck some gel coat on it. And what I want to do is I want to see what it looks like next time I come down and if it's too liney and if it will sand out using the gel coat like a the filler. So, there's my brush that I'll keep cleaning. It's going to be hard. But it ain't solid. A little bit of uh, acetone. And she's all good, good to go again. You don't need to throw your brushes away every time. You know? Obviously, if you're doing top coat finishing, please, by all means, you know, throw it away. Use a nice new brush, nice and clean. If you're doing resin, or just brushing a bit of gel coat on to cover something up, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, that is still good enough for painting, really, but, yeah. If you're doing your pride and joy with a top coat, you might well want to use, you know, a brand new brush. You know, depends what sort of finish you want, and how much your boat's worth. You know, if it's an old thing you just toss in a bit of stuff on to make it look a bit better or seal something up, don't worry about it, it's fine, good enough. You know, most people that million pound super yacht wouldn't be doing this sort of work themselves anyway would they so totally different ball game i'm not going on to the underside of the deck at all i'm going to keep it purely on this section here so i can see how she's looking So this will tell me what the rest of it's going to look like when I've finished. So if it's left, then I've got to do something about it before end. Now I've still got all the under side of the deck to sand. And I'll say if it's going to look rubbish, I'd rather know now so I can make me mind up what I'm going to do about it. All right, that should do that. I might put a bit on here just as a little filler. I'm not going to touch that bit there where I've got to filler it. And I'm not going to fill that now. I'm going to do that when I'm ready to glass it. Because then I can put the filler on and glass straight over the top of it without having to sand it again. Because as you can see, I'm already having to do more sanding than anyone cares to enjoy. 
<laughs> it's a nightmare. You know, every time I come down, I've got sand, sand, sand. So if I can cut out a bit of sanding, that will be fantastic. Bring the lid off. Yeah, they're not mixing up a lot at all. I don't want loads. I just want to slap a bit on there. If I run out and I can't cover it, so be it. If I've got a little extra, I'll use it up down here. Probably do me, I don't want a lot. Like I say, I'm not trying to do a, a finished coat of no professional paint job coming up here. I'm literally just wanting to put some on that surface to let it cure and see what it looks like. And if it looks rough when I uh, come down next time, then what I can do is I can use it like a filler to sand down. So I can sand that coat down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this with the catalyst, with the screwdriver I just used. That way, anything I'll wipe off of that will cure. You know, it's not gonna leave me with a sticky mess everywhere. Right, I only need a tiny bit of catalyst for this. There's a small amount there. Not the warmest of days, but it ain't cold. The sun's coming out. 10 to 12 drops in that should be plenty. If I've got any bits in it and all the rest of it, as long as it cures, it doesn't really matter because, like I say, I can uh, get that catalyzed resin right up there. So anything I scrape off that screwdriver is going to set up and it's not going to stay wet everywhere because I hate that when you've got wet resin everywhere and you can't. Ugh, it's horrible. If it goes off and catalyzes it and it dries and sets, that's fine. But when you. It's a bit like trying to silicon stuff, isn't it? You've got the silicon gun out, you know, you do a good job, everything looks done, and you turn around, and it's like, eat, 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 and there's silicon everywhere, you know, you've got it all down your trousers, on your t-shirt, there's always a bit on your elbow for some reason, isn't there? You know, and you turn around, and you've wiped that up the walls, you know, on the radiator, and everywhere else. Do that without getting catalyst anywhere near your open tip of stuff. Make sure you get your lid on these properly because you don't want crud getting in there. You don't want the air getting in. And it turn into a wasted mess. And dirt in it. Right, there we go. So we've got a little bit of gel coat mixed up there. I'll like say not a lot. I want to put a little bit on here just to see what she looks like. So there's a few little pinholes and stuff there. Push that into them. And yeah, next time you come down, that will be like a filler. You know, it's filled the little voids. Well, so rather than having to mix up some bonding paste, the gel coat will do the same job, really. Just fill the voids, all the little holes. Beautiful, I'm not going to go mad, it's, you know, it's not a finished surface. Get this out quick. I'm probably not going to have enough to do all of this. Not with a heavy coat anyway, you know, obviously you're going to want quite a thick coat. I'll say, I'm not worried about the windows. They've all got to be replaced, they're knackered. They were knackered when I bought the boat, they're even more knackered now. Oh, not too bad. That's not wasted, Dave. Good job I've got plastic down. <laughs> I've literally gone just into that corner with the grind, the, with the sander, yeah. So this will also give me an idea of what it's gonna be like when I finish the boat, when I finish painting it, gel coating everything, what it's going to look like. And also how my paint's going to go. <laughs> Give me an idea what sort of finish I'm going to get. One of the problems you'll find is when you're trying to get a finish like this, you've got that bit on, it looks, oh yeah, it looks lovely. And then you get your next bit there and you go like that and then you get these brush strokes where the brush stops. So 
So it's all come out lovely, and then you've got that where the brush stops, you get them lines. So you need to sort of run right through the whole bit of work to get rid of those. It's, or you've got to sort of terminate like that so you come off of it at the end. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a knack to getting that right. So it's like a bit of practice for when I put my top coat on as to how I'm going to do it because I don't want lines in it like that. If, it, if my finish looks like that, I'll be most upset. So we've sanded all the way down to there. Like I say, I ain't got to worry about the windows. They're of no importance at all. I don't want to cover them, but you know, I haven't got to worry about them. They are knackered. The trouble is, is, once you get this on, you've only got so long to work with it before it will sort of start to flash off and you can't keep going over it. So, nice strokes all the way, one into the other. Nice and light now, I'm not pushing, I'm just gliding the brush over the surface. And that sort of gives you a reasonable finish. There you go. So that's done. So we'll let that cure. Pretty much empty that is. A little bit more on there. A little bit of crap in it there, I'm not worried about that. I just sort of want to see what she's going to look like. There's no point going too far with this because, like I say, I'll have to sand it down. but. Like I say, most of this I've just sanded to get it sort of smooth. Oh, that's a bit of crap, isn't it? But I just want to fill some of them little holes. I mean, this won't take long to sand out next time I come down. See all them little cheese holes. Now if I come down and I've got to put filler on it, it's, I'm still going to have to wait for that to set up a bit before I can do anything, so I might as well just spread this on. Fill in some of them pin holes. It's all going to need sanding again anyway, so I might as well get on with it. There we go, that's it. Well done. Pretty much used all of that. I'm not going to cover all of it because it is more sanding if I cover all of it. <laughs> I've just I've got to glass this bit, so I might as well fill up some of the holes that are there. Then I can sand that. The jobs are good. Then. All right, that's me done. So I'm going to clean this brush up and get out of here. So I've got my acetone already. So a tiny amount, I'm not wasting loads of acetone, so I'm going to clean that brush out. So I've done what, a couple of bits of glassing with this already. That, look. And that brush is still good, still usable, still looking clean. I've now just done a bit of gel coating with it. Pull off the mark, but the brush itself is clean. What I'll do when I'm done with that is I'll tip me acetone into me gel coat, into me gel coat or resin, whatever I'm doing. That washes that out. Keeps everything clean and tidy. Not wasting loads of stuff and I can use that again. A resin pot. Tiny splash just to rinse that brush off. Right, so there's my brush all clean for next time. Hasn't taken me long to do. That brush still looks pretty darn good to me. Yeah, yeah, it ain't new, it's not perfect, but it ain't bad. That's plenty good enough for me to come down next time 
and put some resin on with and it's not really cost me bugger all to clean it only the splash of acetone that I was using anyway all I've done was pour a tiny bit into a pot and what you can do with that is to top that off is I tip the old acetone into an old empty acetone can so I've got basically another one of these that's finished and I'll tip the old acetone into there and what happens is after the paint sludge all settles to the bottom then you end up with well, reasonably clean acetone it's not any good for wiping down your surfaces before doing the work but it's brilliant for brush cleaner cleaning your pots and stuff you know cleaning everything out wiping up stuff you know it, it just rather than throwing it in the bin tipping it away you might as well make use of it so all i do with that is i'll tip that into my pot and that's ideal for rinsing the brush out next time then you only need a tiny little splash of clean stuff just to rinse it off with but there we go all right take a look at that and i'm out of here So uh, you can just see the lines in it, it ain't bad. Obviously this is a very heavy weaved cloth so you're going to have some lines but it don't look terrible. Obviously when I do my final application that's going to be uh, rollered on. We'll be rollering it on but this will set up. I can sand that again, yeah I know it's more sanding but you know it should be a bit of a nib over, it shouldn't take too much to sand that over and that'll be like a filler, that'll sand it smoother for me next coat when I do the whole thing in one, you know I'll do all the underside of the deck, down the sides and everything will be done in one go down to a, a point where I'm going to terminate it and then from the rest of it it's going to be grey, so you know it's getting there but it's nice to see a little bit of color on there again just cover up that glass like i say when i come down i'm going to try and do a little bit here and there and then give it half hour or so of sanding because this is quite hard work sanding upside down with my shoulders so i don't want to spend three hours sanding that down again it's, you know it really is a job and a half so i'm going to do little manageable bits well, depending on how this comes out i might gel coat it as i've done with that you know Obviously it then means I've got to re-sand it again, but it's a lot easier to sand that than it is to sand this. So, but it's got to be done. The other option is I sand all this down, I put another layer of CSM on, then gel coat it while it's still wet, then I'm going to have to sand all that, then I'm going to go, oh, yeah, it's just going to go up forever. So I'm hoping this way will do the job and it will be quicker, but we'll find out. Right, that's me done. I've got to get myself home. I've got a load of editing to do absolutely loads this is my third day down here or my third morning doing an hour or two uh i've got yeah a load of videos to cut down and trim up and shorten and speed up and edit out but we're getting there right stop waffling dave get out of here catch you all later thanks for watching bye for now